this little village. So, and this guy has a quest. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Adley? Edgar Adley? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Jesus. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. I did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. So that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. You missed it. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... As Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. <laughs> if I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Nah, nah, buddy. Now, where could that acromantula cave be? Jesus, all the way over there. Um, bu 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 You're gonna regret coming here. Uh, I didn't come anyway, so. <laughs> come on. Yo, what the hell are those? Infoni not ni Um Oh yeah. Did he just disappear? Uh, do 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 do. Confringo! Incendio! Aha! I did that so I could unlock the challenge, nothing more. Revelio! When the clouds are dark, it's always the best time. Herself. It's an age I found anything worth poaching their crack crack. Confringo! Defender! Incendio! Revelio! What the hell is this? Huh. They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. Ha <laughs> ha
Uh, you really are hopeless, aren't you? P.S. Don't forget, don't forget cotton for your use. Sick that I got all that main drakes. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. What the hell is this? Rebellion. Ah. Nope. What the hell are these? <laughs> uh, We're in the forbidden forest now. Defender, incendio, Kinfringo, Cortego. Revelio. Oh shit, 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 shit. Why am I doing that? Ow. Capulso. Defender. Incendio. Good friend. Protego. Capulso. Defender. Incendio! Confringo! Stupid! You little bugger! Protego! Stupid one! Capulso! That hold. <laughs> Incendio. The cave must be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Revelio. Enemies, that's for sure. Capulso. Defender. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Revelio. Not me to press G. Oh, fuck. The pulsar. Why am I not hitting? Confringo. Defender. Incident. Ah, shit. The pulsar. Defender. Confringo. Revelio Chess Ah 
Oh no. I see a chest over here. No, fuck, I don't see any chests. What a lame ass cave. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Incendium! So this is the infamous Absconder. Oh, she. <laughs> Ah, uh, I fucking dashed it. Mother that's some stupid she. Why is that so fucking high leveled? So this is the infamous of Scotland. The Pulsar, the Finder. Incendium. Confringo. Defender, the Pulsar, 
Um. Expelliarmus. That is some stupid shit. Some stupid, 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 stupid shit. What the fuck? Like, it doesn't give me warning, so I can't dodge the fucking attack. But I only have six. So six this is the infamous lovely. absconder. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> Honestly, mate. Fuck it. Yeah, you tell me that now. Let's go 10 Hobology class. Ah, oh, fuck that. <laughs> I said load last uh, check from last checkpoint, and it didn't give me back my uh, fucking. You can't imagine how inconvenient potions. travel was before I invented blue powder. Okay. <laughs> How wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Huh? Buddy, what the fuck? Nothing's going right. There we go. Jext. Uh, FVQ. Free to practice Wingardium Leviosa. Here in the greenhouse, I've set some Wingardium Leviosa. Pure and natural. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. 
Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. <laughs> and that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> what a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well... I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Now what? Uh... Report to Professor Fig. How nice to see you, my young friend. The Professor Fig. Yeah, there's no no other side side quests from what I can see. I want alone uh Aloha Moa already. Talk so. about this. T So I can uh, fucking. I was hoping the to see you. Break into all the You're buildings. back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which. Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rock. Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? What he was happened? a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I fa You found the pages? Oh, wow. I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. My bad, guys. Believe it or not, well, know my it's a room below Hogwarts. Button. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Fuck, I missed it on the conversations. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. <laughs> to think it was beneath us all this time.
This looks promising. That looks sick. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, possible. Uh, yeah, what was that? <laughs> Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Yes. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Ho ho! Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. 
What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Ooh, flippendo, why is she teaching me all of these charms? Pop balloons of Hogsmeade Station. Huh. Oh, map. I said map. What the fuck just happened? I've always said that travel is the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. All right. Pop some balloons now. Yeah, see balloons. Revelio. What the hell do you sell? Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Aye. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. 
Name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Ooh, you got holy shit. Five hundred dollars for a boom. Thank you for your patronage. I shall hope to do business with you again. It's been a pleasure. Ah, oh, nothing like being young. There's a fifth balloon. Is missing or something? Ah, there it is. Little buggers hiding. Boom. Um, what's the next one? All the way over there. Pitch. Do, 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 do. Bugging balloon. Not seen it. Why does it like to hide? Ah, there it is. Brilliant. Return to Madam.
Alright. How did you get on with Revelios? Ah, so she was against it, eh? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Holy. Delicious. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Practice of Places. There you go. Catching on quickly. Oh, sick. So how many spells I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more spells left. Well, nine. I need... What the hell is that? Um... Now I need another goddamn main drake to do the uh do 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 Uh, uh, uh. Alright, um, let's now have another one of that. Let's go to the map. Quest. Fire flux weed. Do 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 do. Oh, that's that's from this. Um, T. Have it yet? How the hell do I acquire flux weed? Supposed to require flux weed. I doubt he has it because I'm pretty sure I bought.
Hogsmeade, here I come. I fucking bought the stuff from him. He didn't have no fluxweed. Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Damn, that's not... Fuck, so... Who else would have it then? That lady will probably have it. No oh, flying. What a letdown. Careful of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? No, you don't have them. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Mother Chaco. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, she, what the hell do I go find these? It's like a place right out of a storybook. This lady, she got anything? Um. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Nope, just ingredients. Thank you for stopping in. Great. I appreciate it. The pulsar. Do 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 do. Uh. Akio. Following. Do 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 do. Buddy, you you gotta go that way. Depulsor. To the left now. And then straight up. That's that. Settled.
Oh, well, I can do the... Uh... Where am I going? I gotta find a vendor that will sell the flux weed. Do, 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 do. Now I've done that part, so now I just need to go and harvest the uh, flux weed. So that means I need to get the seed. And then pop these balloons. How's that one? I popped five balloons. I'd be terribly Rebellion. grateful if you could help me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Jesus. Be strong, Alexandra. Nice to see you. I wonder who lives here. Alexandra. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry... Uh, I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologised when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. What? In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Yeah? Uh, how fucking, what's the difficulty on that one? Twenty-five, god damn it. 
A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. What do you have in store for me? This Hello. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. Uh -huh. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft, the other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages and they are extraordinary. Fair enough. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something. But lately, they've become more aggressive. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? Fluxweed, fluxweed. I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages oh, defending them. Damn it. Useless. Useless. Sounds useless. like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, it's Let's so... see what's up your sleeve. What's the difficulty on that quest? Fifteen. Oh, that's cool. Um... What's the n -n 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 next place? Travel there, Perfect. Oh, so beautiful.
Oh, I missed that blue. And that one. I've always said that travel broadens the... Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon... Ro Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. Nice to meet I you. was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Ooh, dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. He's probably dead. <laughs> Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Alright. Brown Rock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. Jesus. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. Idiot. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. <sighs> the moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. <sighs> I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. Fair enough. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them. We should not have to live in fear. Breaking this is our home. Camp. Madame Beaumont, might I speak? Yes, what about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually yeah, stop. Just stop. Could Bardolf have run, run off? off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. 
Is it Jane? Rookwood is as dangerous nah, as Ranrock, in my opinion. Nah, I don't think he's as, as dangerous, but... Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm... Only oh, his satchel, satchel journal, journal, and a woolen, and a woolen jumper. jumper. I'll let you know. <sighs> Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful. What do you have for sex? Fluxweed seed, please. Badoff, where are you? Fucking useless. I'll not give up hope. God damn it. Mewen, I remember you. Your generosity helped It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. How was that? Ooh, pink soul. What what uh, level requirement is this one? 